Hey everybody, Mike Monin over here at OTC Die Hen. I'm in our full service training lab here. We've got four of our FD series robots set up in here, whether you're working with a hollow wrist or a conventional uh, wrist robot. We have a lab here where you can work that out. You can see one of those bots behind me here. Today I'm going to talk to you about a standard feature of the FD series controller, whether you're talking about our current model FD11 or the new FD21 that we're introducing next year. Um, they all support a VGA output. Why is that important? The screen's pretty large here when it's up close and personal for the user, but if you got somebody who's looking over your shoulder, you're either teaching them or they're trying to get a look-see to help you troubleshoot what's going on in your production welding cell, there's tough access to the screen here. For one operator, maybe two, it's okay, but if you have uh, somebody that you're working with, they're gonna want a better view of what's going on on the screen here. This is one of the benefits of having a PC-based robot controller, and that is support for a standard VGA monitor. So I'm gonna walk you through what that does and how that works, and show you how you can use that to your benefit when you've got people who need to see over your shoulder as you set up one of our robots. All right, so now I'm uh, down here with a little bit of a close-up view inside our robot controller. Although the position is a little different on the FD21, uh, it's still very easy to identify where you can plug in your commercial VGA monitor, and that's this blue connector you see right here. Uh, DB15, standard VGA connection, uh, where you can plug in your monitor, uh, provide remote power to it, and you're off to the races. So in this case here, I have my VGA monitor connection, standard 15 pin male uh, VGA connector going up to my standard monitor upstairs here. And uh, it's just as simple as plugging that guy in. And let's take a look at what and how that actually works. So as I showed, I've got my monitor plugged in through the standard VGA cable. And now let's power this guy on, taking care to monitor the safety situation. Normally we wouldn't have this open like this, but you'll see as I begin to load on my screen here, you're gonna see it mimicked over here. Of course, like we said, it's a Windows-based machine. And as this thing goes through the boot process, you're gonna see we get right into uh, duplicating the screen that's here on the teach pendant it's duplicated up top so everything on this screen is being mirrored on that screen so this is my touch screen teach pendant here as you can see if I hold it closer everything going on as through this boot sequence is mirrored over on my VGA monitor back there and this is fully functional, right? So as I go in here and make selections through the touch screen, you see those re reflected on the screen up there, including as I cursor through and cursor down, you see it being mimicked on the VJ monitor in the background. So it's an exact duplicate of what's happening on the teach pendant screen being presented up on the spare monitor here. And that is how you connect a remote VGA monitor to an FD series robot controller. All right, now I've gone back to our configuration here in our FD series classroom, where we have a monitor attached to each one of our training cells. And you can see it's just finishing up the boot sequence here and everything that's uh, going out to the teach pendant is once again mirrored up top on that monitor. So as I again scroll or make choices through the teach pendant here, whether I'm using the touch screen 
or the keypad, those choices are being displayed up on the monitor. Any VGA supported monitor will work with the system. Plug and play, as simple as that. Follow Diane to learn more about our clean welding technology.